In the following video, we're going to take a look at how you can modify styles in Word. Now this is Word 2007. Um, you can do the same thing in 2003, but of course it looks a little bit different because the user interface is different. However, you should be aware that you can do very similar things. Um, the styles that are in 2007 are pretty good, and one of the things about the default styles is that they're already in that web formatting um, format, meaning that you don't have indented paragraphs, you have left aligned paragraphs and you have space in between paragraphs. Now in order to use a different style, of course you just click on the text that you want to apply a style to, and then you can go over and click on that style or just hover over it. So I'm going to go ahead and make a bullet list here. So that's a very simple um, bit of style that I've just applied. Now in order to modify one of these styles, you want to generally go to the text that has that style, right click on the style, and choose modify. Now with um, modifying the style, I could change the name if I wanted to, probably not a good idea. You can change the font that's being used, you can change the font size possibly, you can change um, whether it's bold, or italic, or underlined. Of course, you don't want to use underline unless it's a link. You can change the font color. You can change whether it's aligned to the left, center, right, or justified. You can, um, let's see, go down to the bottom here. This one's kind of nice. You can um, change all sorts of stuff about this font you can change um, whether or not it uses uh, pretty much the same stuff but you've got other effects here about whether or not it might have a shadow or maybe use an emboss or something like that you can make it all caps if you want maybe not the best idea you can also go to character spacing and you can adjust character spacing so that it's a little bit condensed possibly makes it a little bit tighter and that's actually nice for headings if you go back to your format, we can do things like paragraph, and this can adjust the spacing before and the spacing after. So we can adjust it so that we have a little spacing after that paragraph, which actually could be kind of nice. We'll hit OK, and you'll see that that's adjusted a little bit. If you don't like it, you just go back to it, adjust things a little bit, hit OK, and you'll see it changes. We can also do things such as borders. So we can apply borders around it, we can do shadows around it, we can do a border just on one side possibly. So I just want a line underneath it. The color, I'm going to apply a very special color, it'll be kind of this orange. You'll click see OK. You'll see it now actually has a line that goes underneath that heading. Let me go to that format again. Make sure that that particular color is using something I want. There we go. OK. Doesn't seem to want to keep that color, but that's what happens. Let's see, anything else? Um, I think that's it. Now, um, that style has now changed. If we go to a bullet style, we can do special things with that bullet style. I'm going to go ahead and create a bullet out of it, so I can use one of those. If I want to adjust certain things, I could maybe make, give it my own style here by choosing one of these um, already created document styles. And then I actually can create a new style. If I want to create a new style for this, with that text selected, right click, go to styles, and say save selected as a quick, a new quick style. And I will call this my bullets. And this really should be my unordered list. And I can modify this if I wanted to right now. And here's where we can get to things like numbering, which will actually show us like how the bullets are done. And I can also choose different bullet points here, or different, um, different types of bullets. I could also define new bullets by using symbols that exist, or even a picture. So there's a lot of options there. I'm going to go ahead and do OK. And you'll see that this is now a style that I can apply just by clicking um, above. So you can create your own styles if you want to create a document um, that you use all the time. Now what you want, want to do typically is anytime you want to use these styles, you'll want to open up this document um, and change it, uh, change the information in it and save it as a new name.